Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, and welcome to another Trick or Treat Horror Fest. Uh, my name is DJ Surreal, and with Descent Sunday is Vancouver's Goth Industrial Event. Today we're going to talk about uh, Halloween 2, and that's Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Um, you know, after Rob Zombie's Halloween, I actually didn't think they were going to make a sequel because they pretty definitively kill Michael Myers in that version. Um, I read online that initially. It was really um, the producers and the production companies that were sponsoring that wanted Halloween 2. And Rob Zombie actually initially never intended to do Halloween 2. And then they basically went, well, if you're not going to do it, then we are. And I guess Rob Zombie went, you're not fucking ruining my shit. Which I get. So Halloween 2, um, the beginning is a little weak. And I mean, you kind of have to expect that. I mean, they did pretty much destroy Michael Myers' face. Like he he has no face as of the end of Halloween. So how do you how do you come back from that? Um, it was pretty weak the way that they did. Um, which once again, I mean, you just gotta let it go. It, it is what it is, you know, when you're pushed into a corner, what do you gotta do? You just gotta make some shit up, right? So, yeah, how they brought Michael Myers back was, was, was pretty weak, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Also, not sure how that would have healed his face so that he could walk around. But, you know, you get over it. It's not really about that. It's not really about the story. It's about character development. It's about the, the difficulties that they go through. Uh, in terms of character development, this movie is actually pretty amazing. Um, they chose it to go in the direction of showing how his sister is coping with the fact that she is the sister of Michael Myers and all this fucking shit happened. And the events of this movie is supposed to take place about a year after the first one. And she's pretty fucked up and she's just, you know, trying to cope. And she's still having really horrible nightmares. And uh, her friendship with her friend is kind of falling apart because of her, you know, her friend got attacked and was brutalized and, and all this, all this stuff. So there's all these different factors at play psychologically. And I thought that they did a really good job of, of exploring that and going through that. And I like, you know, she kind of goes through the, the rebellious stage and then she just totally spirals out of control. Um, when she reads the book and actually finds out that the reason this happened is because she she is the sister she didn't know that before and then that revelation just sends her spiraling out of control and um i thought that was really interesting and i i thought it was very well done uh the other thing i thought that was kind of interesting is sort of the artistic take on the madness when you see more of like the perspective of Michael Myers and you know the dream sequences he has with you know his mother who's dead and the horse and and all that kind of stuff and all those little details I thought was really artistic and very interesting and a much different direction um, than any of the other movies in the Halloween franchise have, have gone so it added something new which was also kind of nice it wasn't just a, a continuous rehash of, of everything that's been done before um, once again, this movie, in keeping with the first Halloween movie, um, has some pretty brutal scenes in it. Uh, there's definitely some stuff that is not, would be certainly uncomfortable for some viewers. Um, so keep that in mind if you're choosing, if you've never seen it, you're choosing to sit down and watch it. Um, there is some very graphic violence that happens, so, you know, be aware of that. In terms of that though, the graphic violence and the gore is very well done. Um, it's believable, it looks very real, which is nice. Um, you know, for, uh, I mean, that's, let's face it, that is not, that's not an easy thing to do. And I know a lot of people say, 
oh gore that's gross but there's a lot of art that goes into to creating good gore and there's enough bad horror movies out there that you know we we have our fair share of bad gore you know um and so being able to do that and have it look realistic and look and look good um it takes a lot of art so you know i have a there's there's a lot of appreciation there um i thought that the way that they chose to end this movie was pretty pretty great um you know spoiler alert here but they actually have uh angel the sister end up she ends up going crazy she just can't cope with all this knowledge and all this information and going through another set of this like traumatic experience with michael myers not being dead and stuff so she ends up uh, acquiring the man his madness um as they depict it earlier in the film and i thought it was a nice way to end the series and uh just sort of like tie it all together um and uh yeah like definite definite win Although that's, that's not difficult for me to say. I'm pretty much a fan of all Rob Zombie's films. It's got his name on it. Probably pretty good. Anyway, so that's my review of Halloween 2. Um, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you all tomorrow for another review.